morning. I'd like to welcome everybody to the July 11th, 2024 Board of Public Works and Safety meeting. Roll call, please. Here. 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 Are there any conflict of interest statements? No, no sir. Approval of the minutes of the meeting of June 28th, 2024. Motion to approve those minutes. And I second them. All in favor say aye. 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 Uh, number five, bid openings. Uh, there are some for demolition of 6827 Kennedy Avenue. And it looks like there are three of them. The first one is from Acting Incorporated out of East Chicago, Indiana. Easy. <laughs> Okay, we have the Form 96, the non-collusion affidavit, the bid proposal, and did I miss the bid bond? <laughs> and the bid bond. And let's see here. And Acton's uh, bid is $27,200. Again, that's $27,200. Okay, the next one is from uh, JM Industrial Services out of Fair Oaks, Indiana. We have the bid proposal the Form 96. And the non-collusion affidavit. Uh, and the bid bond, sorry. And uh, the bid from uh, J&M is $47,000 even. $47,000. Uh, the last one is from Construction Services Incorporated out of Gary, Indiana. We have the bid proposal, the Form 96, the bid bond, and the non-collusion affidavit, and the bid from C. Lee Construction Services out of Gary, Indiana is $27,450. One more $27,450. It's, uh, it's on the, yeah, I forgot the C. Lee on the front. The name of the company again is C. Lee Construction Services Incorporated. Uh, Mark, for these two engineering for review? No, it'd probably be to Kelly. Yeah. Kelly? Yeah. Sorry, Kelly? Okay. That's what he wants to do? Yeah. Engineering, right? Okay, motion to forward these to engineering for review and tabulation for recommendation. No, to Kelly. To, to Kelly. Kelly. Yeah, I'm sorry. sorry. Kelly's going to review and tabulate and recommend. <laughs> okay. And I second them. <laughs> He's a really good reviewer and tabulator. Um, all in favor say aye. 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 Okay. Um, moving on to number six, matters from other department heads or their representatives. Uh, good morning, Mr. President. I was hoping good morning. Uh, we could... Um, Call us uh, the status on uh, matter 10D, which is 7235 Calumet. Um, I know Mr. Peterson has another uh, uh, place to be in a little bit, so I just wanted to give him that professional courtesy if we could uh, if we could skip to that. Okay, no problem. Yep. So I know Mr. Farrell's here on this property. Mr. Peterson's here. We got two mics now. Good morning. So we're all, we're uh, good all morning, set. board. Attorney Jonathan Peterson appearing on behalf of the. Um, equitable property owner of 7235 Calumet Avenue. So, okay. Mr. President and Board, just to set the record, uh, we were up a couple weeks ago. I think there, was, there may have been a notice problem, so we reset it for today. This is the property that's been in litigation for some time, so I will look to Mr. Peterson for an update in that regard. Um, but I think last time he was here, he did give us an update. I think that he's got control now. Um, there has been no residential at that property for some time, ever since it was, I think, you know, brought to the attention of the attorneys involved and the former owner. 
Um, the, the most current issue is we've got some brick work falling. And if you go down Calumet, it's pretty obvious. It looks really bad. And we'd like to get that resolved. I know Mr. Farrell, I, I, I know Mr. Peterson, I believe, is looking to allow his client to get permits to begin the work, which would be great. I know that Mr. Farrell is looking for <coughs> a finding uh, by the board to uh, make sure that it is of record that there are no residential use, there's not going to be any residential use at that property. So I'm gonna um, let Mr. Farrell just summarize that request and then turn it over to Mr. Peterson. Okay. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, um, so to Kevin's comment, there was a contractor that came in, he did pull permit. I do believe the brickwork has been repaired on the exterior of the property, um, which, you know, we didn't want to hold up, cause any additional damage. But um, my concern is that with the inspection that was conducted at the property, it was discovered there was uh, four residential apartments being occupied by tenants in violation of minimum housing standards. And so it would be uh, my sense that to request a hearing be scheduled as was initially intended once uh, the ownership was uh, sorted out um, between the con uh, land contract purchaser and seller of the property. So now that has been established, uh, I would just like the opportunity for our department to present our findings so the board can establish um, you know, why we've taken this stance on having these residential units removed and have the property converted back to commercial space. So we don't necessarily have to have a hearing if we can come to some agreement with Mr. Peterson. Okay. Do right. agree? So we may need some time to get Mr. Peterson all the information that Mr. Farrell would present to the board so that maybe we can come to an agreement regarding then getting something we could record on the property or get a, getting a finding by the board. Yeah, I, 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 I don't have authority to, to stipulate to that effect, but my instincts tell me that Mr. Smith is correct. There is likely, I would likely be able to obtain authority, we could stipulate. My client has assured me and requested that I offer the assurances. She wants to work with the city and get this property back in good standing and uh, get back to her business, which is running a commercial property. So yeah, I think if we can set this over, in the meantime, um, the contractor has reached out to code enforcement, pulled a permit for the brickwork. They're looking to pull other permits to satisfy these issues, and uh, um, so that's the hope. So, yeah, so if we could set it over maybe for 45 days, that'll give you enough time to get everything over to Mr. Peterson uh, from Mr. Farrell, and then uh, we'll go from there. So we got here in the middle of the month. You want to do uh, the September 12th or 19th, either one of those better than the other? September 12th is better on my calendar. Same with us. Yep. Okay. okay. Then we'll set it over just for status. Is that what we're... Yeah. And in the meantime, they're going to share information? Gonna, I'm going to make sure everything I get from Mr. Farrell, I'm going to forward to Mr. Peterson, and he and I can continue the conversation as to what we could... Gotcha. Hopefully, ...hopefully come to some agreement by that time. And if we do come to an agreement and we can submit it, you know, obviously, uh, Mr. Peterson doesn't have to appear, but that's up to him. Okay. Motion to set the matter for status for September 19th, 2024. 12th. I thought 12th. September 12th, please. Yeah. September 12th. Well. Thank you. Thanks. I second. Thank you, everyone. All in favor, say aye. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, we're going to go back to matters from other department heads or their representatives. Yes, good morning. Good morning. Um, Mr. <clears throat> Mr. Button submitted something earlier today, and this is just for a couple borings in the alley. Okay. We're investigating to see if we could do a French train or something. So I would recommend approval from AES. Is that on the agenda? Oh, it's on the agenda. Yeah, it's on the agenda, Mark. Oh, okay. We're going to letter I for, oh, okay. We're going to skip, Mark, just go ahead and stay there. We're going to skip down to, uh, to uh, correspondence letter I. Uh, correspondence received from Advanced Engineer Engineering Services to perform soil borings in the alley behind 7317 Bering Parkway and 7434 Woodmar Avenue on, on or after July 8, 2024, wedding permitted, no detour will be needed. Correct. And you're recommending approval? Approval, we're just checking to see the soil consistencies to see if we can get a French drain in there to help water issues in those areas. Okay. And I apologize. I, no, that's I, okay. I talked to Dean this morning and he said, make sure it's on there and I thought he just sent it this morning. No problem. Motion to approve. And I second. All in favor say aye. 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 
Okay, uh, going back to matters from other department heads or the representatives, anybody? Okay, we're gonna move on to correspondence, letter A. Correspondence received from William Short, Chief of Police, um, recommending the following applicants be appointed as probationary members of the Hammond Police Department to serve their one year probationary period effective July 11th, 2024. Jonathan Reithelt, uh, Chante uh, Taylor Payne, Samuel Valdez, Antonio Tamoris, Anthony Munoz, Jacob Hood, and James Armstrong, requesting the approval for, the, for Sergeant Marcus May to receive firearms instructor specialty pay effective June 21st, 2024, and the following officers be promoted to the rank of corporal effective Ju July 13th, 2024. Hunter Hutz, Anthony Armeo, Adam Tahar, Martin Picasso, Juan Diaz, Daniel Heredia, Joseph Calkins, and Derek Berger, Garib Gabriel Blanco, and Edgar Martinez. Motion to approve. Jeez, OP. Aye, second. All in favor say aye. 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 Okay, moving on to letter B. Correspondence received from Dean Button, city engineer, requ requesting approval to dispose of five city vehicles that are non-operational. Yes, the engineering department's working with the controller's office. These <coughs> vehicles are pretty much dead. So we're just trying to clean up the area and around City Hall with a few vehicles. I just wanna make sure that the board kind of officially declares them junk and that the cost to uh, dispose of them is um, over the cost of having them otherwise fixed. Yes. I understand. Okay, we don't have that information though on here, so how, how do we? Yeah, just to, I, I would just ask the, uh, the board to declare them as junk under Indiana code. And gotcha. That, and that should be enough. Okay, gotcha. Motion to declare the five vehicles in question as junk according to Indiana code. Thank you. I second. All in favor say aye. 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 Uh, letter C, correspondence received from David Weiss, Deputy Fire Chief requesting funds be released in order to pay for replacement mobile data, data terminals and cradles. Uh, Bright has the lowest responsible responsive quote offer for MDT and cradle project, which is quoted under IC 5-22-8 um, ET sequence. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. Just like you said, Kev. Motion to approve. <laughs> I second. All in favor say aye. 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 Um, letter D, correspondence received from the controller's office requesting the approval of the renewal of amusement device license for Area 504 Nightclub LLC. Motion to approve. I second. All in favor say aye. 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 Like the wheels are coming off. Um, letter E, correspondence received from uh, Rick Archie, Director of Operations at Horseshoe Casino, Hammond, requesting permission to have pyrotechnics display on Saturday, July 11th during their uh, Bear Tooth concert. The pyrotechnics will be handled and used by ATL Special FX. It's July 13th. Uh, July 13th, yeah, sure right, answer. Saturday. Um, make sure FD knows about this. I talked to him. Okay. I talked to him yesterday. Uh, talked to the fire chief. They're aware of it. They've are. They're they're good with it, and they're actually going to go over there and make sure it's set up and everything properly. So, no yeah. Okay. Motion to approve. I second. All in favor, say aye. 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 Letter F, correspondence received from uh, Shanae Cook requesting a stop sign at Seoul and Thornton for pedestrian and traffic safety concerns. Yeah. Okay. Motion to refer to engineering for follow-up. I second. All in favor, say aye. 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 Uh, letter G, correspondence received from John Van Ramhorst of Regional Health Clinic requesting permission to block off State Street on August 8th, 2024 from 9.30 a.m. to 3 p.m. from the west side of the intersection of State and Seoul to the first curb cut off the library's west side street entrance. They have contacted director of the Hammond Public Library and the administration of the First Baptist Church of Hammond and neither had any objections. I don't know, does it? Uh, do you see anything, Mark, that could cause problems there? Yeah, it's about yeah, five and a half. Hours, hours. Yeah. No, we're talking about G. 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 State Street. From the intersection of State and Seoul. West. 
to the first entrance of the library. So it's just like a I don't. Half, yeah, it's only like a quarter of a. It's only like a quarter of a block. So. Yeah. 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 Which is not. No, yeah. that's. Yeah, I think we're good. Yeah. Okay. Motion to approve. I second. All in favor, say aye. 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 Correspondence received from Kyle Wayner, uh, Principal Highland Christian School, requesting permission for street blockage on Forest, north side of the alley, to Kenwood on August 9th, 2024, from 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. to hold their annual block party. And that has been an annual thing, right? I mean, we're good. Nobody has any problems with it. Okay. Motion, motion to approve. I second. All in favor say aye. 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 We already handled aye. Uh, number, or excuse me, number eight, matters from board members? I have nothing today, sir. Nothing. Nothing? Okay. Number nine, new business, letter A, agreement to rehabilitate property at 1101 Truman, submitted for approval. Uh, yes, Mr. <coughs> President, I think this is a uh, matter that was before the board some time ago, and I yeah. mentioned we'd be up. So I just want to always check with Linda to make sure our status date is consistent. I, we may have already set this for status, but I'll have Linda check. It's the, well, the expiration date is October 12th. Right, we usually set it. You don't remember. Okay, so um, if we could have a status date somewhere around October 12th, and then Linda will let us know if there's another date, and we'll vacate that one. The, t the 10th? October 10th? Sure. Okay. okay. Motion to set the matter for status for October 10th, 2024. I second all in favor say aye. 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 Uh, letter B, contract for demolition services with JM Industrial Services Incorporated in the amount of $283,800 for 28 through 34 Ruth and 34000 for 3323 165th Street submitted for approval. I request approval of both of these. <clears throat> Motion to approve. I second. All in favor say aye. 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 Uh, letter C, right of way permits. Looks like there's three of them received from engineering, submitted for approval. Yes, sir. First being uh, by Calumet College. They're running some fibers in that particular area by Gasper. Okay. So that one should be good. The other one's by 108th Street in a tollway. Mm -hmm. uh, University of Notre Dame's put in some monitoring equipment underneath the, for the bridge itself. Oh. And also lighting, so that one should be good. AT&T, i like to pull that one and give it another week to do some more review. This is up by 122nd and Clark Fields, so we need to take a better look at that. Okay. So you're good? They're all good? Well, uh, except we're, we're pulling the... Um, AT&T. at Up by 122nd. By gotcha. Clark Fields, yeah. and there's a lot of water mains out there, so there's some big ones. Okay. So we just have to review it a little bit further. So we're, we're okay in two of them, just not the yes. one? The one was okay back in February, the okay. AT&T. So I asked for, they asked for extension. They didn't do the work at that particular time. So they're doing it now. It would have been better if they did it back then because they have to open cut a portion. Okay. So we're going to have to go through it and make sure, look for alternative routes okay. because it's going to be paved shortly. A motion to approve the two right away permits and to deny the AT&T approval until further review. Yes, thank you. I second. All in favor say aye. 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 Uh, letter D, request for a late rental registration hearing submitted for approval. Motion to set that status for July 25th, 2024. And I second. All in favor say aye. 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 Uh, letter E, garage sale permit submitted for approval. No, they just said, we're good, we're good. Oh, okay. Yeah. Good, yeah. Okay. Motion to approve the garage sale permits. I second. All in favor say aye. 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 Uh, letter F, notice of violation hearing for property located at 1723 Myrtle. <clears throat> Thank you. 
Morning, board. Morning. Uh, the property was inspected on uh, May 24, 2024 with myself and Inspector Bill Luter. The property contained three units, uh, one, one on the second floor and two on the first floor. The first floor front apartment was found to be not legal in conforming of the fire separation and the lack of permits for the creation. The owner is cooperative and has already pulled a permit to convert the property back down to two units. We are just waiting on a final inspection and we would like the board to um, affirm the order for the removal. Okay. Motion to affirm the order. And I second. All in favor say aye. 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 Okay, uh, letter G, notice of violation hearing for property located at 630 Stewart Court. Uh, board, we are gonna request a 30 day continuance. I'm in talks with the owner right now on getting a deed restriction signed for this property. We just need to have her get it signed and back to me. Uh, August 8th or August 15th, is in one of them? August 15th works. August 15th. Motion to set the matter for status for August 15th, 2024. And I second. Uh, all in favor say aye. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Uh, letter H, mobile food vendor application for Malus Corn, 4541 Henry Avenue. Anybody from Malus Corn? 4541 Henry Avenue. Are they just supposed to come before us. Okay. okay. You can go on that one. Huh? Yeah. Oh, okay, gotcha. Hi, good morning, ma'am. Could you give us your name, please? Uh, Eugenia Martinez. Eugenia Martinez? Yes. Okay, so could you kind of tell us what you have in mind for this business to include hours of operation and so on? Well, it's between like uh, 11 to between 7 to 8 o'clock. It's three corn mobile carts. One is going to be like running up and down on Gosling. Okay. The other one is going to be uh, by... Uh, by Walgreens, down there, Goslin. Calumet and Goslin? Yes. Okay. And the other one is going to be by the, the Three Palmas, by Michigan. Mm. Las Tres Palmas? Yes. Okay. And then what, you're going to be selling corn, street, okay, street uh, corn? Yeah, corn, um, it's flower skins, pop, water, and that's about it. I just have a couple oh, questions. Oh, and ISIS. Oh. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. And what else? ISIS. ISIS, okay. Yes. Okay. Just a couple questions. Um, I didn't take a look at the application. Is the health department um, approval attached? License. Yep. Yep. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. um, she has insurance also. So um, I just have a, I was just wondering, the, you mentioned you're going to be at Walgreens. Is that going to be, do you have permission of Walgreens or are you just going to be moving no, no, all like the time? Just down moving there. down that yes. way, down Gosselin. So yes. you'll, you, okay, mm -hmm. and I believe the ordinance indicates that you have to be done by 7 p.m. Okay, so seven, yes. so that's okay. Mm -hmm. You said yeah. eight, but you know, it's got to be seven. Yeah, I think, like by around, mm -hmm. yeah, between 11 and seven. Okay, Yeah. and then um, also that uh, if you're on anybody's property, you have to get permission, but it sounds like the carts are just going to keep moving. Yes. Keep moving, so. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I just want to make sure you understand they they need to keep moving or have the permission of an owner to be on the property. Uh, yes, in we were told that. In, in, in writing, you need to have that with you, okay? And then, as he said, 11 to 7, make sure you do not go past 7, okay? No, because usually after 7, everything goes down and then it starts to get dark. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just want to, like, for example, you know, like, there's a, I think there's like a taco truck near the Walgreens or maybe by the VFW down there. They, they're on the property, but they have a permission slip. There's a form. So if, you've, if you mm -hmm. plan on going in a parking lot somewhere yeah. and staying there for the day, you just have to have that form filled out and turned into the controller's office. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. you know, no problems otherwise? I don't believe sounds, that, no. sounds Everything's in order, yeah, so. Sounds perfect. Okay. Motion to approve. I second. Uh, all in favor say aye. 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 Okay, good luck with your business, ma'am. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, number 10, old business, letter A, status, 90-day temporary signage for the 6,700 blocks of Bering, Ridgeland, and Northcott. Not sure if anybody's here on that. It was the 90, it was, it was Dean? Uh, yeah. yeah. Let's it set it over that, for next it's week. It's that residential signage. Oh, for the sports board. complex. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Set it over for next I week. So I want to hear what Dean has to say, unless Mark is ready. Yeah, I think it's working. 
Yeah. I've been going that way, checking it yeah, on a daily fine. basis, they and it seems fine. like people are they never do not they parking never. in that area. There's a, it seems like a spotty yeah. residential. So the sportsplex has had quite a bit of traffic on the weekends, but it seems like they're staying away, and I see police presence out there going around to make sure. There's a, it, this is kind of a slow time for the sportsplex, too. Absolutely. So, yeah. um, I guess the issue is whether we're going to make it permanent or not, and if so, we just have to, the, the board has to determine that. I would think yes. Me too. <laughs> Me too. And uh, would be the, my recommendation, and then we just have to give the council that seven-day notice before it becomes Official. I agree with you 100%. I do think it needs to be the whole block. I think there was some idea at first that we could do half the block or something, which we can't do that. Um, so I'm, I'm all in favor of it going right. forward. And so if people come over, I'm sure, for a cookout or something, that's fine with the residents and so forth. But they just want to keep the people out of the neighborhood from the sports. I understand. And I understand. when the YMCA opens up, who knows what's going to if there If the neighbors do have guests, what's the police department's position on that like how do they have we, stickers and we have passes. little blue passes that they that can get the they can go to the police department and get from from us so how is that communicated to the residents now like how do we let them know hey by the way you now have residential parking if you need passes for guests i don't can we send that out to maybe in their water bill or something yeah or maybe we just send door to door we can i don't know who would yeah, do that yeah sending a letter i mean yeah. we i'm happy to get a hold of Captain Kellogg and perhaps he can, we can, Linda can work on getting a list of all the addresses for those blocks and then we can get that over to Perfect. Captain Kellogg, right? You know how to do that? Yes, he, he loves doing those things too, so. Yes, he does. Yeah, he, he's not here anyway to defend himself, so. <laughs> um, Sounds like it falls in public information officer. Exactly, I think, I agree with you 100%, so, okay. Yeah, Captain Stravabi, I'm not sure which. No, let's make it Captain yeah. Kellogg, yeah, okay. We don't, we don't want falling off the back of the <laughs> Thank you. Okay. So we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna approve it or set it for status still next week. So, so. Well, it sounds like Mark had a good yeah. update. So, so we're good. Sure. Okay. Are we? What are we? Are we just approving? Make it permanent. Make it permanent, and then of course we'll do make sure notifications sent out to the residents. Okay. okay. Motion to approve the 90-day signage as to making it permanent to notify the residents and also forward to the city council. I second. All in favor say aye. 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 Okay, letter B, status for 1434 Sherman. BI is here. Yes, uh, I see Mr. Luter here. Good morning to him. Um, we were last here on April 11th. My notes show rough and electric had passed. Um, 90 days needed to finalize the project, and we are going to set it over for today. All right, so we're at a point of back order materials okay. for the cabinets. Uh, finished carpentry needs to be completed when the cabinets come in. Uh, he's thinking based on what, per the contractor, about eight to ten weeks uh, for the back order product to, to get in. Yeah, it's up to Mr. Luter. We have an expired rehab agreement of April 11th. If he wants to keep it on the demo list, that's fine. We do have a recorded order. I'm okay with keeping it on status at this point. Okay, so okay eight, with that. eight to ten weeks. Sounds like we need like a, another three-month status. Three-month? August, yeah. September, October. Yeah, or October. That, you mean more than that? Yeah, well, eight to ten weeks would be two months. So we want to do. Yeah. Let's do the three months, and eight. then if we can always rescind the order and. Yeah, I think you know next time we'd like to months. probably rescind the order. If we can. Three months. Yeah. So you just want to do October third or October tenth? Let's do ten ten. We already got the other one set for that. Yeah, day. ten ten. Okay. okay. Motion to set for status for October tenth, twenty twenty four. And I second. Okay. All in favor, say aye. 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 Okay, uh, moving on to letter C, status for 6411 Harrison. So this was up for demolition hearing on May 30th. Um, we reset it over on June 6th. This was <coughs> where there was a, a bunch of different owners. It was a family, I think, Maria, Jesse, uh -huh. David, Daniel, uh -huh. Jimmy Garcia. Yeah. Um, it has not been, it has not improved. The conditions have, I would say, probably worsened. We have a uh, unboarded door. It's in significantly bad condition. Uh, we've given them multiple opportunities to sell it. I think uh, maybe the realtor is even here one week, one time. Um, so what I would like to do, if there's no objection by the building department or the inspections department, 
is to request that the order be entered based on both the evidence that we presented to the board um, back in May, on May 30th, and the additional evidence that uh, Mr. Schultz here has here this morning. Thank you. Uh, the only improvement was they have removed some <clears throat> junk vehicles. Other than that, it's just deteriorating. That's one on the back porches. Yeah, are those, are, what are those on the side? Is that holes? Yes. Okay. Okay. So uh, what would be, what is being asked of us? I would request that the demolition order be affirmed. We do have good service. We did have a prior um, they were all actually, some of them, I think maybe one or two were present and one was on Zoom. So um, based on the evidence that I presented to the board as well as the fact that we do have good service on the owners, I'd request that the uh, demolition order be affirmed. Okay. Motion to affirm the demo order. And I second. All in favor say aye. 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 Thank you. Uh, we've already handled uh, letter D. Moving on to letter E, status for 7247 through 49 Indianapolis Boulevard. So this is the uh, car, former car X location. I got a note that there was a pending sale. We do have a recorded demolition order, so I'll ask Mr. Luter for yeah, Apparently the sale that I had mentioned fell through. Uh, so at this point, the property is still listed for sale or lease. I have got no information that there's been another offer of any kind. I haven't heard from the real estate agent. So I just say we move on with the process. Okay, then there's no action needed by the board and we'll bid this out. Okay. Action necessary. Moving on to letter F, status for 1152 Michigan. Um, this matter was before the board last on uh, June 20th. Mr. Meeker, the real estate agent appeared. The owner did not appear. The closing was set for 10 to 14 days. Um, we asked that Mr. Perez appear because he has not paid for an inspection to date. Uh, I can change that. The owner has paid for an inspection. Great. It is pending on my desk, just uh, my schedule trying to get in there. I have a lockbox code and I'll get in there and get that inspection hopefully in the next week or so. So if we could set it for 30 days to see if the ins 30 days give you enough time to Should do the be inspection. Enough, yeah. and Even if I wait until I'm done. August 8th or 15th? So the 15th. Okay. That's fine. Motion to set the matter for status for August 15th, 2024. I second. All in favor say aye. 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 Okay, the meeting is now open to the public. Does anybody have anything they'd like to say? We miss you too. Anybody else? Okay. Okay. We're a fountainhead of information today, Jeff. We absolutely were a fountainhead of information. Okay. Motion to adjourn. I second that.